It's all about the implication. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most unsettling plot twists in non-horror movies. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most horrific and unexpected twists to be found outside of the horror genre. This should go without saying, but spoilers are everywhere. Number 10. The Usual Suspects When your number is called, step forward and repeat the phrase you've been given. For that one person who's yet to watch this award winner, after a drug heist gone wrong, Roger Verbal Kint is taken into custody to assist a detective in identifying the mob boss Kaiser Soze. In a truly shocking zinger, Kint is revealed to be Kaiser Soze mere seconds after leaving the police station. Even after close examination, the usual suspect's twist holds up to scrutiny and is so awesome that you'll want to go back and rewatch the film almost immediately. Simultaneously chilling and badass, the filmmakers inserted just enough hints to make the revelation plausible. I'm smarter than you, and I'm going to find out what I want to know. Number 9. Chinatown now, I want to know how it happened, and I want to know why, and I want to know before Escobar gets here. What happens in Chinatown stays in Chinatown. This twisted classic starts as a case of a woman scorned, but quickly spirals into murder, incest, and nihilism. Puzzled by Evelyn Cross Mulray's strange relationship with her younger sister Catherine and her slimy father, Jack Nicholson's private investigator unwittingly unveils a disgusting family secret. As a result of being raped by her parent, Dunaway is Catherine's mother and sibling. She's my sister and my daughter! To make matters worse, the film ends with Evelyn's death and Catherine falling into the hands of Daddy Dearest, while Nicholson's Jake Giddis hopelessly watches from a distance. Forget it, Jake, it's Chinatown. Number 8. Arlington Road. Sir, step out of the Michael! Road. It's got a goddamn bomb! Michael, wait, wait! That's the hey, it's only paranoia if you're wrong. Directed by Mark Pellington, Arlington Road stars Jeff Bridges as a widower in a post-Oklahoma City bombing world who suspects his neighbors to be terrorists. Even though Tim Robbins and Joan Cusack deliver reasonably creepy performances, Bridges' unfounded fears seem like the ramblings of a madman and are completely dismissed. The twist arrives in two parts. First, it confirms the protagonist's suspicions, but the true holy crap moment happens later, when Bridges is framed by the terrorists for the attack. Preliminary reports indicate the bombing was the work of this man, Michael Faraday of Reston, Virginia. Number 7. Shutter Island We're telling you the truth. At first, Martin Scorsese's second highest grossing film plays out like a typical neo-noir detective story. U.S. Marshal Edward Teddy Daniels is sent to Shutter Island to investigate the disappearance of a woman imprisoned for drowning her children. Except that is pretty much all a lie, as Daniels is actually a Shutter Island patient and the whole investigation is merely an act to try and resolve his delusions. But you're violent, trained, dangerous. You're the most dangerous patient we have. Sadly, the plan fails, and the patient is slated to be lobotomized. Although a final plot twist suggests Teddy might be faking his relapse to avoid dealing with the truth. This is the sort of twist that really stays with you after the credits roll. Which would be worse? To live as a monster? Or to die as a good man? Number 6. Malice <laughs> With this insane neo-noir flick, director Harold Becker and writers Aaron Sorkin and Scott Frank asked whether there's such a thing as too many plot twists. Following an unnecessary surgery that resulted in Nicole Kidman's character Tracy being unable to have children, the central couple wins a malpractice suit against Alec Baldwin's arrogant Dr. Jed Hill. I am God. But Tracy later divorces her husband. Jam-packed alongside a slew of red herrings and head-scratching revelations, the biggest twist reveals that Kidman and Baldwin were actually working together and planned to split the $20 million cash windfall from the lawsuit. I earned this money. This money is mine. Number 5. Seven. Oh, what's in the box? Everyone knows what's in the box. David Fincher's Seven centers on two detectives, portrayed by Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt, who are hot on the trail of a serial killer murdering people according to the Seven Deadly Sins. By the time John Doe turns himself in, five murders have been committed, 
but the killer promises to reveal the last corpses if the cops take him to the desert. Once there, Pitt finds a box containing the head of his wife, Tracy, and retaliates by killing John Doe. Oh, God! Oh, God! Representing envy and wrath, these two deaths complete Doe's plan, and the twist spawned countless What's in the Box parodies. What's in the box? <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the box? Number four, Planet of the Apes. My God, I'm back. As a franchise, Planet of the Apes has made a habit of ending on a shocking revelation or explosive climax, but there's no topping the original. After sleeping for a good two millennia, Charlton Heston's Taylor crash lands on a strange planet that is overrun with apes and is taken captive. A couple of ironic lines later, Heston manages to escape with the aid of some apes, but soon learns that this crappy planet is actually Earth. Apparently, humanity engaged in a global war and wrecked the entire thing, leaving apes to take over as the new dominant species. You maniacs! You blew it up! Number three, Old Boy. <laughs> Revenge is a dish best served cold, with a side of incest? The second entry in Park Chan-wook's Vengeance trilogy, Old Boy sees a drunken father kidnapped and locked in a room for 15 years before being suddenly let free. Desperate to get revenge on the person responsible, Ode soon learns this was done as punishment for something he did in high school. He revealed that two fellow students were having an incestuous relationship, which led the sister to commit suicide. <laughs> However, in addition to being imprisoned, Odesu was also tricked into sleeping with his own daughter. Unable to live with this knowledge, Odesu gets his memory wiped and continues to date his child. Yikes. Number 2. Gone Girl My lazy, lying, cheating, oblivious husband will go to prison for my murder. David Fincher is at it again. Based on Gillian Flynn's novel of the same name, Gone Girl sees Ben Affleck's Nick become the prime suspect in the disappearance of his wife, Amy. The first half slowly builds a case against Nick, before Gone Girl flips everything on its head with a single monologue. Technically missing. Soon to be presumed dead. Amy is not dead or missing and planned this entire thing to frame Nick for murder as punishment for his infidelity. In the span of five minutes, the film's cool girl turns into a deranged psychopath while Nick shifts from perpetrator to victim. He took and took from me until I no longer existed. That's murder. Number one, Soylent Green. A new delicious Soylent Green, the miracle food of high energy plankton gathered from the oceans of the world. Killing two birds with one stone. Soylent Green takes place in the distant future of 2022, where New York City is suffering from overpopulation and a severe shortage of rations. As a means to feed the masses, the Soylent Corporation distributes massive amounts of rations, with the green iteration being the most popular. Unless someone belongs to the upper class, everyone willingly eats this substance and is borderline addicted to the stuff. So what is Soylent Green? Well, let's just say that Hannibal Lecter would love it. You gotta tell him, Soylent Green is people! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.